Hello everyone, my name is Lord, but today we are going to be making a super quick and efficient basalt generator. You can build this in both the overworld and the nether, but uh, in the nether it's a little bit better, and so that's where we're going to build it. Uh, I will go ahead and show you a comparison of both in the nether and in the overworld for this build. Uh, in my hotbar here is everything you'll need in exact quantities. That blackstone brick there uh, is just any kind of building block and you won't need 64 I think the most you'll need is four but you can use as many as you want to make it look good uh, here is it actually and it it has an off and on switch which is very cool so you flip the off and on switch and it starts making basalt it will turn off once it gets to the push limit. Yeah. And it also can turn off with the lever. And then, of course, you would mine this out with your pickaxe, or you can uh, blow it up with TNT. Now, very quickly, I'll show you a comparison between that and how fast it goes in the overworld. Alright, I have one here in the overworld, and there should be side-by-side -side footage, and right as I hit the lever, we're going to go one, two, three. There we go. Uh, yeah, and that's that's really just how the difference is. It's actually quite surprising, and that's because uh, lava flows faster in the Nether. So the way the way we're going to build this is actually rather simple. First, we're going to take three building blocks, one, two, three, in a pattern like this. Next, we are going to make this block here, soul soil, and then this block here is going to be blue ice. So now we can actually go ahead and put our lava right here, and there you go. So technically, you could just get your pickaxe and you could mine it here. A lot of people uh, put like a obsidian block there, and then they'll hold down their pickaxe, and you know they they won't have a chance to just tear up the floor. But uh, and 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 you you totally can do that. And if if you did if you do that, if that's what you want to do, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, of course, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, one thing I am gonna mention to everybody watching this video is that right now, currently, is tutorial month. And if you have any ideas for a tutorial, make sure you drop that in the comments below. And yeah, let's get on with the rest of the video. So, for the rest of the video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a piston. Let's uh, very quickly block that up. We're going to go ahead and put a piston right here. We're going to put a temporary block here. And then we're going to put an observer facing downwards. Break the temporary block. We're going to put a block right above the piston. And we're going to put two redstone right here. It should look like a line. We're going to go ahead and put a lever here we're gonna leave it in that position actually if you wanted to start off then you could push it down and then you go ahead and put your lava right here and there you go once you want it on then you flip the lever up and it'll start making but very quickly uh, let's go about actually using this farm how are you gonna want to do that well, you're going to want to get yourself a pickaxe, and a rather fast pickaxe at that. We could just use this netherite pickaxe, but I have an efficiency 5 book, and as you're going to see, efficiency 5 is actually going to be way, way overkill. But uh, that's what we're going to use for this example, but you you could g get away with a much slower pickaxe, uh, like efficiency 3, 
on even a diamond and you'll be set. So let's go ahead and swap them to survival. Flip the lever and let's go. See, this is crazy fast and that's totally fine. Because it's also a fast farm. Now, you could definitely go ahead and put some hoppers underneath or you can just go grab it. You could stand up close. You may want to put a block underneath of it. Like obsidian or something. But there, that was no time at all. We already have 46. That's about a stack. So yeah, that's uh, how you build this super fast and uh, efficient and actually surprisingly cheap, um, aside from the blue ice, surprisingly cheap uh, basalt generator. And yeah, it's very crazy fast. And yeah, that that's, uh, that's really, that's how you build it. No, nothing really to it um, there's a few different ways you can build generators like this um, of course you, you can build them completely uh, manual you can build these this is technically a semi-automatic one uh, you can have like some kind of TNT thing to blow it up then that'd be fully automatic of course you, you can put hoppers on this you can uh, you can put walls around it so that items don't go everywhere there's a lot of stuff you can do really but that is uh that is what we're going to be talking about today in my video i hope you enjoyed this video i want to thank you for watching this video and extra special thank you for watching this far i know this was a pretty short video uh boy actually a very short video but uh yeah i hope you liked it if you did of course go ahead and leave a like if you really liked it and want to see more content like this uh i'd ask you to consider subscribing of course so you never miss out you can ring that bell as well and you'll know exactly once new videos are posted you'll never you'll never miss them and of course it is tutorial month so if there is a thing you want to see whether it be a farm redstone build you know just uh a thing you want me to to, I don't know, I guess, show you how to build a tutorial of sorts, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. And until next time, goodbye, everyone.